Hi, I'm here for a collaboration with Crinkle Path called Sunday Snappy Snippets. I will link it below. It is just a junk journaling tip or tutorial that is less than 10 minutes long. And today I'm doing sort of a viewer requested video on how I make my uh, Franken cards, Franken pockets. That's not really my own term. It's just pieced together strips that I have left over from end cuts and then I glue them down onto a piece of cardstock. In this case, I'm using blue cardstock because I'm making blue themed journals. But most of the time when I do this, I use um, much cheaper alternative of file folders, manila file folders. But this time I wanted to use a piece of blue cardstock. So I just took all of the end cuts from the journals that I'm making plus all of the other blue colored ones that I found in my uh, scrap box and I am just gluing them in a row side to side with the glue stick down um, and they don't have to be um, the same width. Then after I'm done with that I trim off the edge as you can see and I've got a little bit of space and gaps that I go back and fill in. And I normally don't care about the little part on the edge that's hanging off. You'll see that um, I have a little bit of cardstock at the end. That's fine. A little bit of waste is okay. Um, just because if you put a super narrow strip at the end, it's a little more hard to sew that close to the edge and be able to have it useful when you cut it up to use it for a pocket. And that will make more sense later. Uh, so I went ahead and grabbed another piece of cardstock because I had more end cuts than I thought I did. So I am continuing to layer them side by side and get them ready to go to the sewing machine. I've got all kinds of blues. I've got aquas, I've got navies, I've got ceruleans. Um, baby blue. This has been a super fun couple of journals to make. I've really enjoyed the colors and today it's very nasty and rainy today and um, so I just feel like working on a blue journal is perfect. I'm also wearing blue today. <laughs> Not planned. Trimming off the excess again and then we're gonna go to the sewing machine. I just put it on zigzag stitch and I just run it all the way down. I don't worry about trimming the strings on the other end until I'm done. I'm just making sure these pieces are stuck down to the cardstock as well as holding on to each other. And then I usually do the long lines first and then if I have any little piece together pieces like you saw me doing at the end, I'll do that afterward. And if you don't like this, the stitches showing on the back of your journaling cards, you can use these for pockets, but you can also use them as tag and journaling cards. You can always glue it down or glue a piece of paper down over the stitches or coffee dyed paper or whatever you'd like. Uh, but I kind of like the stitching. It sort of leaves gaps for writing and it's kind of fun to write in between the stitches, but that's just me. That's personal preference. So, um, do what you like in that regard. And I don't usually sew the last piece slash the edge just because I usually use that last edge piece as if I'm making a pocket, I'll use that to punch the divot and you don't want stitches in the way. Now here I'm cutting using a template for a pocket because once a paper is sewn like this, it does not do very well in the paper cutter um, unless you have a guillotine cutter. I don't. So I just cut it using a little template. And here I'm trying to find a little template to make a journaling card. You can orient it either way. I'm rounding the corners which works okay if you don't have thread. And then I run over to the sewing machine again did not take the camera with me this time. And show you that I stitch around the edges. That just holds everything down. Thanks for joining me today.